Hi, welcome to my video on the vertical stretch on sine theta. Vertical stretch. But before I start, let me mention that the, trans the transformations is done in the order of reflect, stretch, and translate. So the third video here, I was looking at the reflection in the x-axis. Now I looked the previous video, I looked at the horizontal stretch, and now I'm going to look at the vertical stretch, and then I'll look at the horizontal translation and the vertical translation to be taken in order. So the vertical stretch, I'm going to call it Vs. So notice in this equation, it's y equals a sine theta. So the vertical stretch is the a value. Because if you think whatever the sine theta is going to be, this is this number times this, so the y value is going to be that much higher. So let's, let's look at this equation. The a is 4. So the vertical stretch is a, which is 4. 4 times as much. a is a half. So the vertical stretch is a half. a is 1 third. So the vertical stretch is 1 third. Notice there's no change. Notice the horizontal stretch we get the reciprocal, but the vertical stretch is just that number. So the A is 6, so the vertical stretch is 6. Again, repeat, whatever sine is, whatever value you get for sine theta, this is 6 times as much, so the y value is 6 times higher. So the mapping rule for the vertical stretch on y equals A sine theta, this is theta comma y, so it's an A, whoop, that's on the y now. The vertical stretch is the y. I was going to put it with the x. No, we don't go with the x because the x is the horizontal stretch. So this is a y because the vertical is affecting the y. So just be careful. Horizontal affects the x. The mapping rule for each is above. So a is 4. So it's theta and it's a 4 times y. Theta, number 2, a is a half. So it's a half y. And a is one third, so theta one third y. And number four, we, the theta has not done anything. So a is six, so this is six y. So it's a vertical stretch. Again, theta, this is vertical, so the theta stays the same. And it's the y value that's been affected, so the direct number. Let's continue and do a couple of graphs based on with the mapping. Graph each using the mapping rule for the vertical stretch. And again, the vertical stretch is theta, comma, y, theta. You're affecting vertical stretch. It's a times y. And again, the equation is y equals a sine theta. So the mapping rule here, a is 3, so we get theta y, so this is theta 3 times y, 3y. Again, for the sine, uh, sine, theta, and y, this is on the unit circle, 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 180 degrees. So the sine of 0 is 0, sine of 90 is 1, 180 is 0, sine of 270 is negative 1, sine of 180, oops, sorry, I got 180 here. Notice I say one thing and write down something else, so one little uh, uh, complication that I had, but I try to correct myself. So 360, the sine of 360 is 0. So this is theta. Mapping rule theta theta, and this is this is three sine theta. Uh, okay, here we go. We put a z theta is the same, so there's zero degrees, ninety degrees. Not changing the degrees, we're just changing the y value. So we got a zero. So sine of zero is zero. So three times zero is zero. Now we have a 90, the sine of 90 is 1, so 
sine of 90 is 1, so 3 times the sine of 90, 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, sine of 180 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0. Uh, 270, the sine of 270 is negative 1, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And 3 times the sine of 360, 3 times 0 is 0. So notice the y values are tripled. So 0 stays as 0, and that becomes a 3, and that becomes negative 3. So what happens? We get 0 equals 0, 0 comma 0 for the first. So 90, that's 360, so this is 180 in the middle. In the middle between 0 and 180 is a 90. And 90 added on to that is 270. So 0 degrees 0 for y. 90 is a 3, so notice instead of going up 1, we're going up 3 times higher. It's the vertical stretch. 180 is back to 0, so we went up. We come back to 180 right there. 270, we're going on down right here, so you see it's 3 times higher. 360 is a 0, so it's you can see it still cuts it at the same points. But the height of the graph is three times higher. So it's three, three. Notice the y value is stretched. Vertical stretch is three. Vertical stretch, stretch up or down is three. And the period is still 360. Because the period is 360 divided by B. So it's 360 B. It's right here, B is 1. So 360 divided by 1. So the period is still 360. But the stretch is different. And in this one, y equals a half sine theta. A is 1 half. So the mapping rule, theta comma y, theta. And this is a half y. And normal uh, unit circle, 0 degrees. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, 360. Sine is 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And this is theta. And this is a half the y value. So we're going to go, we can do that or we'll put a half y in, whatever, it don't make any difference. So let's. This is 0, theta stays the same, 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So when you put 0 in, a half of 0 is 0. When you put a 90 in, half of 91, so you get half of 1 is a half. Put a 180, sine of 180 is 0, half of 0 is 0. 270, sine of 270, negative one half of negative one is a negative a half. And 360, the sine of 360, that's the theta there. Sine of 360 is a zero, half of zero is zero. So, let's see what we have. Z zero degrees gives me a zero. 90 degree, again, that's a 180. That's a 90. And that's 270. 90 divisions. Be, all through here. So 90 is a half, 180 is a zero, 270 is negative a half, and 360 is a zero. So there it is. Again, notice the height is a half, the stretch is one half, so it's, but the period is still 360. From 0 to 360 is one cycle, one sideways S. So notice the height is 3 here because it's 3 times the Y. And the height here is a half times the Y, so it's half as high. And that brings us to the end of looking at the vertical stretch. So the vertical stretch is stretching it, stretching the Y value in the graph. And if you like my video, click on the like button. If you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content.
that I have on my YouTube channel called Mathfully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.